Good morning everybody, Alex here from Cycle Exotics and today we've got to do checks on the new arrivals we had in. So we had reptiles delivery, we had the massive fish rescue and I've just spotted something really, really cool. Um, so I'll show you that in a sec. Uh, but I've come in this morning, you think we'd have had enough with water after yesterday, but the shop's flooded again. Morgan forgot to turn the arrow off. No hassle. It's no problem. Everyone gets to make a mistake. It's no problem. Um, so we're going to sort that out as well today. I did it, so I can't moan at her for doing it, can I? Really? No. So we're going to sort that out today. I've got something super cool to show you. And yeah, we'll crack on with today. The fun begins. Let's get this place drained. Oh, the fun we have, eh? The fun we have at Snake Island. No one has as much fun as us. Nobody has. It's impossible to have as much fun as us. So we're going to open the doors again like we did before. And we're going to scoot all the water outside. Ooh. Just extreme mopping. That's all it is. Extreme mopping. That's all we're doing. Wah. Okie dokie then. So roll open. Roll open. Down in the bin. And we get to the brew meat, and we're going to do some sweepy up in. I've got the attachment now, so we're going to do, attach you to the to the uh, the brushy, and you're going to have a front view of everything. That's better. Got a shop flood and I've just spotted up here we've got egos. How cool is this? That's better. You've been giving birth to eggies. Have you? Is that what you've been giving birth? We got three egos this time. No wonder you've been a little fussy. Hey? Do you wanna help out? Yeah. There you go. Off you go then. Good girl. Off you go. Off you go. I wonder she's been a bit fussy lately. Three lovely Eggos! They are fresh. They're still soft. We've got no male, so they're going to be infertile. But these are the best ones she's ever done us. They're all slippery, so I can't pick them up. Oh, oh slippery. Three! Eggos! Very cool. What I'm going to do, we're going to see if we can candle them. Have a little look at them. Check that she isn't having a phantom pregnancy. Which is where there's no male and she still produces fertile eggs. Um, it's the island effect basically. So if she, uh, for example, um, got washed upon an island with no other sail fins she would there's a possibility of her producing fertile eggs to repopulate that island with sailfin so they can populate that area it's been found in um what's they called komodo dragons komodo dragons in london zoo one of the first times it's ever been documented very very cool uh, there's actually like an, a video on it and all stuff like that um i'm trying to find where it is a second phone it's got a torch. Aha. Let's have a look at them. So if they were fertile, you'd see a little red blob in there. No, nothing. Which is the nucleus of the embryo. No, nothing in there. Completely empty, as you can see. This light's going straight through. I'll try number three. Yeah, there's nothing in them. So we know for a fact they're infertile. There's a possibility that somebody could eat these. So I could maybe give them to the blue tongue skink or something like that. But because we're in a shop um, environment and stuff like that, we can't have cross-contamination. So these have got to be disposed of. 
So we dispose of them, and then um, if if they were my animals and I was at home, there's a possibility I would let one of them try it or something like that. But within the shop rules and stuff like that, cross contamination is a big no no. So. What a morning today. So we've done Egos, I've got to do the water, I've got to turn all the lights on, we've got to do updates on everybody that come. So yeah, we've got a big day on, big day on, so we'll crack on. Next job is going to be swimming pool. I've got 90% of it out, still a little bit wet, but I'm going to let it dry up, pool up in an area, and then I'll have another go at it. Oh, I've had a look at Mr. Dragon. So if you saw on yesterday's video, he ate three locusts for us. He had loads of water with Morgan. He's sat and chilling, he's asleep in the corner. I've just turned his light on there. Sleep in the corner, sleep in the corner. I have checked, he's actually is still going. He's just having a nap. I was impressed with him yesterday. I was extremely surprised that he ate any of the food. And as soon as we, after a while, he was chomping on and everything. So I was so impressed. Um, if he doesn't make any big jumps in improvement pretty quickly, he's gonna be going to the vets. So to make sure that he hasn't got anything else underlying problems. So uh, that's going to be the plan, we'll see how we get on. We've also got to check on all our other arrivals today. So we had our three royal pythons, we had our bearded dragon, the mantises have already gone to their forever homes, um, and we've got to check on the animals that I rescued yesterday. So I'll go around, I'll turn all the lights on first, and then we can crack on. First we're going to do the fishing update, then we're going to do 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 yeah we're going to do 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 the um, tadpole update. And we have a look at the reptiles. Really happy with the fishes. They're doing really well, they're all healthy. No one's shown any signs of illness. No one's shown any signs of white spot. There's been no panicking from going from a tank to a pond, from a pond to a tank. Because of course, they've never been lit up before by light properly. Um, they've never been able to see through the glass and stuff because they can actually see me. Um, so they've never been in a situation like this before. Um, so they can get scared a little bit, so if I move a little bit too fast, I didn't even do anything there, but you can scare them a little bit. Um, but they are settling in and getting used to the tank environment, which is really, really nice. The ones in the pond are doing just as well. There we are, just swimming around with a big koi. There's a lot of them over here, there we go. All doing really well, settling in. I am going to be station down, but, oh, I swapped it, sorry. Yeah, I'm going to be swapping it around soon. But I don't want to rock the boat too much. They had a big, big day yesterday. Going to different places and stuff like that. So I'm going to give them a bit of time to settle before I move them anywhere else again. Because it's just too much for them. Having to go into this tank and this tank and this tank. That's why the ones I took to my granddad's, I took them straight there. I didn't bring them here, put them in a the tank, and then take them to my granddad's. I took the ones straight from the pond to my granddad. We've got our little tadpoles. So yesterday, we did collect a good lot of tadpoles, a lot of them around here. I think there's about 10 to 15 in there. What I had to do, because um, I didn't have a spare bubbler, I attached them to the, to the shop run of airline. So down there, you can see I've seen you before, we have all our little air valves there. So I've done, I've added one to this. Comes all the way out, up here, to keep these guys going. Because this water would go stale very, very quickly if I didn't have any air in there. I do have somebody that uh, wants to take them on, so I'll be messaging him over the next couple of days and uh, he'll come and collect them. I think he, he's got a wildlife pond. So we'll put them in his pond and they'll evolve. And we might keep a couple to, to raise up and then give them as, as froglets. Um, so what happens is they start getting a little bit bigger then they start getting their colours, little speckles and stuff. Then they start growing their little back legs. Then they start growing the front legs. Then they lose the tail. And then they climb out as a little froglets. Very, very cool. Sort of like an axolotl, kind of. They evolve, they, they evolve up to. So an axolotl gets to the point where he's got legs and stuff. But he keeps his tail and stays in the water. These ones drop the tail and come out the water as frogs. I couldn't leave them behind. Gotta save everybody. It's a bit dry now out the back. I've had the door open most of the day. Lovely, nice and dry. 
So, no, I've got the place set up so nothing's on the floor basically. So everything's got a couple of mil off the floor so nobody can get damaged by anything. Um, we're going to have a look at the um, animals and then we're going to come back, check on the beardy, give him a feed and see how he's getting on. Also, I phoned the vets today about him. I did it about 10 minutes ago. Um, not the best result. Um, if he has got, I can't pronounce the words, psychro, or I can't remember how to spell it, a disease basically, um, where he has to go on antibiotics and stuff like that, he is too skinny. Uh, it messes with his stomach lining and stuff like that, and he's not physically strong enough to go through any of the treatments. Um, they said the best protocol would probably be to euthanize him and, uh, and put him to sleep. Um, but I want to give him the benefit of the doubt before we go down that route. He ate for us yesterday. He walks better today, but he doesn't know where his hands are. So as he's walking, he walks like this, not like this. So I'm hoping that a couple of days of eating the food with calcium on it and stuff like that, and uh, may help him build some of his muscles back and help his brain send the signal to his hands to get his hands to do what they want to do. But at the moment, he walks on his, on his wrists, basically. But at least his legs work. Yesterday, he was all tippy over because his leg wouldn't move when he wanted it to. He doesn't do any of the spinning anymore. That was just a one-time thing. I haven't seen him do anything like that since. Um, so yeah, he's doing okay, but the result from the vets was a bit disappointing. I, don't, I wish they'd want to try a bit harder, um, or at least give me a, some better options. Um, and I, couldn't, I can't see him for two weeks anyway, because they're fully booked, uh, which is another pain in the bum. So we just bear with him, we do what we can for him, we do the treatments and, and food and whatever we can. But we'll try again later on today, see if he eats some more for us. And we'll look at the animals now. First, we've got our little dragon to look at today. Hey, little dude. How are you today? Hey, man. Want to come out for a little bit? There he is. Whoop. Doing really well. His colours are proper popping now. He ate loads of food for us yesterday. And you might. Oh, he's a proper little trooper. I've offered him some today, but he didn't want to eat nothing. I ain't surprised because he had four big loads. Look at his belly. Look at his big belly. That's what we like. But he's a proper little baby. Uh, not long out the egg. Not long out the egg. And your buddy. I'm going to go back up there. He likes it up there. He gets plenty of UV. He gets a nice bit of heat from the heat bulb or ceramic bulb. Absolutely cute as anything he is. He's got the nice white band around his face as well. So I don't think he's pure normal. Nowadays, the, the amount of crazy morphs people are breeding, if they can't identify anything on, on them, they class them as normals. Um, but they'll be carrying loads of other crazy genes and stuff like that, they're just not showing them. It's pinstripe, we'll open him up. Okay, how you doing, buddy? So we've had a little look at him today, and I've had my uh, herpetologist friend come in, and we've had a proper little look at her, and we think she's a bit more than just a pinstripe. We think she's a pinstripe yellow belly. Because the, the dark, the black on her is so black and vibrant. She's also got, as it comes down to her belly, the colours carry right round, all the way round to her belly. And if we look at her belly scales, can we have a look at your belly scales? Show us a belly scale. There we go. There's slight highlights of yellow on the belly. So if we think she's a, a pinstripe yellow belly, but we won't find out completely until she's a bit more of an adult. So Sunday, she'll be having a feed. She doesn't really like the camera very much, so she is in a little bit of a protective mode. But you're fine, ain't you done it? You're okay. You're okay. There you go. Um, so she's doing absolutely fantastic. Really, really happy with her. Hopefully Sunday, she'll feed for us and then she'll be on sale. Here we have our lovely cinnamon male. Not as tame as the, as the, as the uh, pinstripe, but he's just as nice, ain't you, buddy? We don't think we've got anything hidden in him that we can spot yet, but as he gets a bit bigger, we may be able to spot more and more things with him. But he's so nice. I love the dots. Really, really nice patterning on him. We've just got to hope they feed. That's, that's the ones I like, the four in a row. 
as long as he feeds for us, I'm going to be happy as anything, and he'll be on sale. But I do, we, we did check him over this morning when we was giving the, the, the snakes a good look over. He has got a mouse inside him still. He's still digesting it. We felt it when we was checking his belly. So he may not feed because it seems like he had a feed not long before he left. So really he shouldn't have been sent, but he's, he's kept it down, so I can't knock him too much. But uh, yeah, he's had a little feed. Oh, we've got to get to the phone. So we'll put him back. We've got a little bit of stuck shed. A little bit of stuck shed. And this one. Wait, our little common. She's so vibrant in her colours. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. For a, for a common normal royal, she's beautiful. Normally they're a little bit darker than this, but she's so vibrant in her colours. Just, just the effect down there is just so nice. The stripe pattern, the, the density of the markings and the, the white outline highlighting everything. Absolutely beautiful. Again, we needed a feed on Sunday for us, so she's going to be um, able for sale. But she's tamed, she's handleable. We'll be doing head taming as well. Uh, a couple of little facts about royals. They get the name Royal Python because the uh, royalty in uh, uh, Africa used to wear them as jewellery. Because it was almost like a status figure that they had enough money that they could have a pet snake as well. Sort of thing. Very, very nice. And of course, they've got very, very dangerous snakes over there. So they're even a royal, which isn't venomous, they'd be terrified of because they just assume it's got venom and they would just boycott it because of that. Very, very cool. Very, very interesting. So we put it back down. We put our hide back in. Well, ha, ha. And we try and give Mr. Beardy a feed before we enter. The okay, so here we are. He's having a bit of a nap in the corner. Hey, buddy. You got a bit of sand in your mouth, have you, mate? Oh, let's have a little look at you, eh? You okay? You okay? Sort yourself out. Sort yourself out. Calm down. Calm down. Come on. You know what? You know there. Now you got to sit and chill for me. Let's check that mouth. You got loads of sand in there, have you? You okay? We're just getting the sand out of your mouth. Good. And now we're going to try it and give him a locust. Okay, so we've got Morgan here now. She's just come in to cover her part of her shift today. Open your mouth for me, buddy. Come on, you know your foods. You know the chat, you know what you did this yesterday. Open up for me and you get a locust. There we go. Eat it for me. I want to see bites. That's what we want to see. Where did I put the tweezers? I just dropped them, in. I? I dropped them? Oh no, there they are. We got them. A bit further in, mate. He's clamping down. Look, watch, watch. He's trying. That's it, mate. Yes! What a bloke. Mm -hmm. What a bloke. All the way, buddy. You eat that one. Come on, put your foot straight. You okay? I'm not messing, I'm not messing, I'm not messing, I'm not messing. Calm down. Calm down, calm down, calm down. You're okay, you're okay. Eat your food. That's it, boy. Get the last bit in. So what we're gonna do, I'll leave him now, let him eat that one. And I think I've got to go now. And then um, Morgan's gonna try and give him a couple more. So uh, you can eat it, buddy. He's definitely chomping on it and trying now, which is great news. He had some for us yesterday. I'm gonna get Morgan to tell us how many he eats now. And uh, he should be fine, isn't it? Well, I say that, he's, he's getting stronger, which is nice. That's it, all the way in. There's a good boy. Okay, so he's been doing a lot better. The thing is, he's got more energy, but he hasn't got 
uh, control over his limbs. So his head, the poor thing, his head is that big, it's really, really heavy on him. And there's a sand over here. So let him eat that one. You can chill out, buddy, there you go. Oh, calm down, you're okay. See what I mean, he steps, but his hand is bent over. Oh look, he's off, he's off, he's off. You're okay, you're okay, there you go. You've got a wobbly head, haven't you, mate? He doesn't go in circles anymore, though. And he's doing a little bit better. A little bit. And your buddy. We ain't giving up on you, mate. We ain't giving up on you, I promise. I ain't giving up. We let Morgan take over now. Stop diving off that stuff. There you go. Stay there. You're okay. We're not going to bother you anymore. So leave him there, and Morgan can do the rest with him. And then uh, we'll give him an update again tomorrow. Ow, my head. Hey then everybody, that's all the time I've got for today. So please like, subscribe, comment, share, ring the bell for me if you haven't already. If you want to watch another video, there should be one there. If you want to subscribe to the channel, it's up there. If you want to watch a playlist, it's up there. Um, if you want to support us, there's a link in the description below. Or uh, you can click the join button. If you want to help support us some more, there's a link in the description below where you can buy Snake Island merch. You can part of the tribe. Oh no, the other bit, you can part of the tribe. But you'll be also part of the tribe where you get some merch and you get a chance to be on the video because if you take some photos or something like that, you with the merch, I'll put them at the end of the videos or I'll put your name at the end of the video, whichever you like. And just as a, a thank you for being one of the first ones to buy it because no one's ever bought any yet apart from me. So uh, I'll see you in the future. Bye.